This is the Camus DDWB, a 15 Nm direct drive based you've probably never heard of. It's made by a Chinese company that has a unique track record of products to say the least. A few years ago they created an in-house electric supercar. Yes, an actual supercar. According to them, due to government policies and regulations, they're actually not able to sell those cars to consumers. So instead, they used all of that technology to create aftermarket car parts, electric go-karts, and of course, some racing peripherals. And although I'm only reviewing the direct drive base along with the Wii in this video, they actually have an extensive lineup of sim racing offerings. From pedals to handbrakes to an entire car Cockpit, they have a lot more in store than you might have thought. Now, the reason you've probably never heard of them is because they're primarily focused on the Chinese market, which is massive, but not really focused on in the Western world. So in this video, I'm going to review it and give you my honest thoughts on the Camus Direct Drive Base along with its wheel room. Released in November of 2021, the DDWB 15Nm wheelbase retails for $500, with the leather GT steering wheel costing $200. Thus, on paper, it seems like a very strong contender in the direct drive market. The wheelbase itself is large in size and has a somewhat barn-shaped look to it. It's made almost entirely from black anodized aluminum, which does look quite nice, and has Camus branding on the sides. Talking about the sides, they appear to have T-nut slots, which means it could support side mounting, although I might be wrong about that. In terms of the regular mounting holes underneath the base, they didn't perfectly align onto my universal track racer mount, which meant I had to mount it with two bolts instead of four, which is of course not optimal for a 15Nm base. That being said, it did hold up well throughout my time using it. Behind the wheelbase is where everything plugs in as well as a QR code to bind this wheelbase to your phone. Finally, the front of the wheelbase features the unique looking quick release, the power button, and a few switches and buttons which you can bind to anything in game. It's kind of like having a button box, but on the wheelbase. Moving on to the GT wheel, it's actually quite decent. It's large and sized, around 13 inches in diameter, and wrapped in leather. I couldn't find the specifications for this wheel rim, so I'm not sure if it's real or synthetic leather, but it still feels good nonetheless. It is also nicely stitched throughout, in my case with red string. The center plate and button box is also quite nice. It's made from a carbon fiber sheet and is fitted with four buttons, two switches, and two rotary encoders. Unfortunately, they do not feel very premium, especially the buttons as they feel probably less tactile than even an Xbox controller for reference. They also have a very interesting color palette. Though I do like the build quality and finish of the center plate and button box, I did find it hard to reach in game. Since the wheel rim is quite large and the button box is relatively small, I couldn't easily reach the buttons and dials when on track. Taking a look behind the rim, you find the two carbon fiber paddle shifters along with the quick release of this wheel. The quick release works well, although sometimes I had to fidget around with it before I felt it clamp onto the wheelbase itself. So it's good, but not quite perfect. The paddle shifters look and feel good. They're made from carbon fiber and are magnetic, which is of course a plus, although I do wish they were a tad longer so that they would not only look better, but be easier to grab. Once you have everything hard mounted onto your rig, only a single USB cable is routed back onto your PC. And now that I mentioned that, no, this will be will not work on console, only PC. But with all that being said, how does the Camus Dark Drive perform in game? Well, there are both good and bad things. The general problem I experienced is that this wheelbase feels vastly different among games. And by vastly different, I mean it practically felt like a completely different product. In the set of Corsa, it was nearly perfect. The feedback was precise, the detail was immersive, and I always knew how the cars were reacting. Switching over to a set of Corsa Competizione while keeping all settings identical, and a lot of the detail and force of the wheel was lost. It was still drivable, but it certainly didn't feel as good, and I never felt as confident on track. Then, moving to Dirt Rally 2, and despite it being recognized in game, the wheel gave me no force feedback, despite all of my best efforts. So here's where my mind is currently at. Based on my experience in Assetto Corsa, I know this wheelbase has a lot of potential, not only in having 15 new meters of peak torque, but also in how good and realistic it felt in that game. But I'm thinking there is still a lot more work that needs to be done in the software side of things. The current Camus software is very limiting, there isn't much in terms of fine tuning and adjustments, and it wasn't able to configure too many games. So as soon as they can figure out everything on that side of things, I truly do believe that this hardware has tons of potential, especially coming in at this price point. Also, in terms of selling this product in western markets, there is a lot Camus needs to do. 
you see, currently, to actually purchase their products, it's quite confusing to say the least. Either you have to go through a Chinese e-commerce website like Alibaba, which for someone unfamiliar with the site can be quite daunting, especially when spending hundreds of dollars on a product, or you need to purchase it directly through them by communicating via Discord, email, or WhatsApp, and arranging some payments there. So it's certainly a bit unassuring, especially again considering everything costs several hundreds of dollars. So if the people at Camus are watching this video, which I'm sure they are, definitely begin accepting orders via an official website and accept secure payments via PayPal or something of that sort. Because currently, the purchasing process is confusing and a bit sketchy to say the least. To end on a high, there is a lot of potential here. The specs of the wheelbase are impressive, the wheel rim is of high quality, and the price is immensely competitive. With future software updates and proper configuration, this wheelbase could be a big player in the direct drive market, and I'm really hoping it will be very soon. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, have a fantastic rest of your day.